Hi, this is Kelly from Pateka Kelly and Planner and Talk, and today I'm going to do a pretty quick tutorial showing you how to create your own image that has a transparency that allows you to have like a magical effect when you are revealing something on Boom Learning in one of your games, okay? So some of you have seen it as a magical mirror or a magical magnifying glass or a flashlight in I Spy games. So today we're going to be using a flashlight and I've actually hand drawn this flashlight here that includes the um, transparent yellow image for the light and this is what we're going to be learning how to create today. Now if you are interested in having this exact flashlight to work with so that you can truly follow along step by step, leave a comment below and I will just send it over to you so that you can actually work with it. Um, but you do not need this flashlight. You can use any image that you want that's going to be having this light effect to it. Okay, so simply what we're going to be doing is layering items, creating a shape, and then making that transparent and combining them together and then converting everything into a PNG file that allows us to have transparency when we import it into Boom. Okay, if that sounded overwhelming to you, um, don't be overwhelmed by it, okay? It should be really simple by the end of this video, okay? So, um, let's get started, okay? So, this is the image that I'm going to um, give to you, okay? But actually, I'm not going to include this part on it, okay? So, I want you to create it yourself. So, I'm going to get rid of this. Pretend like you didn't see that, okay? <laughs> so, the image that you're going to get um, to work on this process is just going to look like this. But you notice as I move it, it actually has a white background. Now, it is a JPEG. It's not a PNG. It's a JPEG, and it has a white background. So I'm going to give you the JPEG because I want you to practice uh, being comfortable removing a background, okay? So we are simply going to select the image, which we are already, um, it's already been selected, okay? And we're going to come over here to Instant Alpha and remove the white background. Okay, so everything is removed from it, and then we can move it around, we could resize it, any of those things. Um, I forgot to point out, I'm actually in Keynote, that's where I create my um, games and clip art and everything, okay? And for the purpose of this tutorial, it's important for you to know the document size, okay? So we are going to have a slide size of 1400 by 1000, because we're really creating something that is the same size as the background, that's going to be on boom okay and in fact we're actually going to make it you know much much bigger and um, you should already know that just from wanting to be on this tutorial to create the tool okay so all right so now that that's out of the way we have our image inserted okay and it has no background on it we do not want it to have a transparent background so this is what it's going to look like okay so now i'm going to recommend that you simply duplicate that page just in case you do something on this working page that you don't like, it's easy to come back here and fix it, okay? Um, so just a recommendation when you're first starting out. So we're going to size this down because we want to actually create the light that goes with it, okay? Now I have kind of a fancy light that I've created with mine, but in the tutorial today I'm going to keep it simple and just show you how to create your own shape and then you can decorate it later as you go on, okay? So what we're going to do is come up to insert and we're going to go to line and then we're going to go to draw with a pen and we're going to actually draw our own light okay now if you think you're a bad drawer or drawer please don't worry about it at all okay um, I'm sure you can create a great shape okay so you're going to be able to just um, modify everything just by simply um, pulling these little dots around the place okay and just make it look like a, a cute little light for a flashlight okay um, you can delete squares or dots if you want. So like let's delete that one and it just turns it into a straight line there. If we delete that one, it does that. So um, you can always be adjusting this and making it um, really fit your needs. So if you pull it down, it's going to curve like that. Pull it up, it's going to go like that. Okay. So we'll make our light look like that. Okay, and then I'm going to just pull this out a little bit. And actually, I'm going to delete that square, okay? So we're going to make it look like that. Um, so kind of a weird light right now. Let's drag it in like this. Okay, guys. Um, and then since this has no point over here, I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, so that's our light. And it basically has a black outline around it. If we move this away, we see that we've actually created our very own shape. 
Okay, so we'll move it back together. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to actually um, color it in. So we're gonna remove this border, okay? And we're gonna go over to Format, and actually I'm gonna click on it right here. Okay, so we're gonna go to Format, and then we're going to go to Fill, and we're just gonna fill it with a yellow color. So you can choose that yellow color, or you can come over here to that little circle of um, like the wheel of colors and you can select a different one. So you need to move it out of the way so you can see. And here we can just change the color in real time. Okay, so I like that color. And down here at the bottom, we can change the intensity, like the darkness or lightness of it, okay? And here we can change the opacity of it, which we're going to touch on later, okay? Now you can choose to keep that black border if you like. If you wanted to remove it, you can come over here and do no border, okay? So it's up to you. So let's just keep, we'll keep the border. Um, so we'll just leave it there. So here's our little border. And we're going to duplicate this page, okay? Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to, uh, we're going to zoom out, okay? We need to make this into one item. So we're going to go to Arrange and Group, and now we actually have one item that we can size up and down, and it's going to size equally, okay? So it keeps everything in proportion. So now what we want to do is we want to create this, this image right here, or this one right here, okay? Um, so this one's the movable one, okay? So we're going to shrink it down because we don't want it too big, right? Because we're going to be, um, you know, making it larger anyways when, it, when it's on boom. So we'll put it like that. And um, now what we need to do is create that black background. So I'm going to show you two ways, okay? So the harder way or the more time consuming way is you're going to come up to shape and grab a shape and you're going to size it to the exact size of the page, okay? You can probably tell by my tone that I don't recommend this because it's going to be time consuming, okay? So you color it to black and then you're going to send it back and then that would be what you need, right? But a much easier way that I recommend you to do is you just come over to background and you change your page to black. Done. <laughs> That's it. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to actually remove um, this yellow, okay? So we're going to zoom in. And we're going to use that cool technique that we just learned, the instant alpha. Oh, where is it? I guess I have to click on it. Okay. Oh, we have to ungroup it. Okay. So that's what it is. So ungroup it because we don't want to do anything with this piece, right? We want to do it with this piece here. So I think this one, oh, oops. Okay. So we're going to remove the color, right? So we want to go to, where is it? Format. Uh, let's see here. Oh gosh, why is it not showing it to me now? Uh, oh my gosh, so silly. Okay, guys. All right. So what we need to do first, right, is we actually need to um, make this an image itself. Okay, so we're going to export this as an image, and it's on slide 28. So we're going to make sure that we are only exporting slide 28. And we can export this as a JPEG. It does not matter right now. Okay, so we're just going to call this um, flashlight one. Okay, and we'll put it in our flashlight folder. Okay, so now we need to come to slide 29 and we are going to basically import that image that we just created. Okay, so we're gonna choose and then we wanna go find flashlight one. Okay, so here it is. And you'll see that this is now a JPEG, okay? So it should be the full size of our page. It is now we can remove this background, okay? So now you see on image instant alpha right here. So we're gonna remove just the yellow one, okay? So that is all gone now. So now it's hard to tell, but this is actually transparent. So we're actually seeing this background here. I'm gonna make this colorful so you can actually really tell that it's transparent. So anywhere we move it, just like on Boom Learning, it's gonna be able to be visible through that tiny little um, transparency that we just made okay but we don't want it to be green so we're gonna make this actually transparent so we're gonna come over here and we're going to change the slide to opaque okay so you can tell it is by this black and white symbol down at the bottom okay so now when you move this image back over it it's gonna appear like there isn't um, that you haven't done anything but you have and you can really subtly see right here that there's an outline of our transparent image so now what we need to do is we're gonna come back to the slide that had our two separate shapes, okay? And we're gonna grab that shape by doing Command-C, and now it's attached to our mouse, right? And we're gonna come over here, 
and um, this is our page that has the transparency. And actually, let's just we'll just make this a color so we can see for now. Make it like this color. Um, so we're gonna zoom in, and then we're gonna do Command V. Okay, so now we have to resize it down, which um, is okay. So we'll just do this, make sure it fits, and let's do that. There we go. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make this opaque because we're gonna layer it on top. Okay, so let's just do it like right there. It's gonna be your own judgment. So let's um, turn this um, back to being opaque. Okay, so we just move it down here. Okay, so it's opaque now, we know, because it looks black. And we're gonna move this right on top here. Okay, and now what we need to do, this is very important, we are going to export it as a PNG, okay? So file and then export image, and then we're going to make sure we have the correct slide. We are on the um, slide 29, okay? And it says JPEG as the default. We want it to be PNG because if it's not PNG, our transparency is not gonna work, okay? So let's just call this uh, flashlight uh, for boom, okay? Flashlight for boom and I'm gonna put it at the front of that folder. We'll export it, okay? So now we're gonna to get to go into Boom, and uh, let's see, I was kind of playing around before this tutorial, so we don't wanna use that one. Okay, so um, we're gonna use this image. So this is a little owl that I have drawn, um, and we're gonna just use it as our background. So we're gonna grab that new image that we created, okay? And let's go find it. So we have flashlights, and then do you remember what it was called? Let's see, flashlight for boom. Okay, so here it is. All right, so we're gonna import it to our boom area and check out if it actually is transparent. And as you can see, it is, okay? So now it's still too small, so you're going to have to make it bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So make it really big and it should work just fine. Okay, so that looks, that's actually probably too big, but that's okay. We're gonna make it draggable, go preview it to make sure it works, and it does. Okay, and we'll see how far we can drag it off. Uh, we can go for a while, right? Um, okay, so that is the tutorial. So once again, if you want this exact flashlight to do this exact uh, technique, uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I am so excited to start creating um, tutorials for you guys. Um, so please just let me know what you'd like to learn next, and I would be happy to share um, any knowledge that I have on those topics, okay? Um, please give this video a like and a share. Share it to someone who also would find it useful. I spend a lot of time making these videos, and I hope they're really useful for you. So I'm wishing you a wonderful week or weekend, and uh, excited to see what you make. All right, have a great night.